Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise Ahaya, everybody. Praise Ahaya one more time. Praise Ahaya from whom all blessings flow. Amen and amen. This is your sister Karianne in Messiah the Christ. Messiah the Messiah, Messiah of Nazareth. If you want to know why I call God Ahaya. And the biblical Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Messiah, I've done a video concerning that one greeting. Greetings to the 12 scattered tribe of Yashahel. Yashahel is a name given to Jacob. Jacob's name was not changed to Israel. The proper name is Yashahel. So I greet all the Hebrew. Hallelujah. The beautiful 12 scattered tribe of Yashahel all over the world. Hallelujah to the most high. Um, you know, glorious soon coming king, the king of Israel, Yah Yesiah the Christ. And to the beautiful body of Christ, the beautiful, beautiful body of Christ, the church, whom our great king is coming back for without spot, or wrinkle, or blemish. Glory. I greet you all in his glorious name, Yesiah the Christ. Okay, you can skip this bit. And find the main message. I will be doing some housekeeping. All right. Remember my name. It's a carrier. And it is in solid gray border. With a little ticky. By the side of my name. I look a tick. Anybody else pretending to be me. Is a wicked dirty devil. They need to rebuke. And report them. Please watch a video to the end. There's a sinner's pride there for you. And also we do the top 20. Thank you so much for liking the videos. Please share them. Please comment in the comment section, brothers and sisters. You know, um, because some of us we do learn in the comment section. Hallelujah. It's like a little, you know, gathering uh, of Yeshahel and the church. Glory be in the comment section. Hallelujah to your name. And um, please um, subscribe to the channel. If you have not yet subscribed, hit that bell notification button as all people would say all right i don't think you should tell people to subscribe you know i don't know i think that if brothers and sisters come on this channel and they want to subscribe they should but you know everybody does it until they say to people subscribe to me channel and they have something running down the bottom saying please subscribe but yeah if you feel comfortable please subscribe i want you to subscribe anyway <laughs> hallelujah to the lamb that was slain before the foundation of the earth all right and then um, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. For those of you who have blessed me through PayPal, I really, really appreciate it. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Glory be. All right. We are near. We're not only near to the returning of the beautiful Messiah, but we're also near to the revealing of the lawless one, the dirty Antichrist, and the lawlessness of sin is coming out of the lawlessness. Please read Daniel 7. Verse 25 tells you that Satan, that dirty devil, that tricky old fox, through the Antichrist will change times, laws, and seasons. It will happen. Satan will create a world that looks like Mad Max. He will create a world that looks like the book of Eli, that type of post-apocalyptic era. That is what the devil is going to do. So you have to make sure that your anchor holds. You have to make sure that you're found worthy to escape. You see, many people believe that the rapture is going to happen any minute. now. it's a wicked lie. It ain't true. Because number one, Ahaya has to regather the true Hebrew Yashahelites in the Bible. And we're not regathered yet. We're all over the place, scattered. All right? So when Yesiah says you must pray to be found worthy to escape the things coming upon the earth. He is not talking about the opening up of the sixth seal. Because when the sixth seal opened, we know that the king is here. But he's not talking about that. He's talking about Revelation 12. Go read Revelation 12 for yourself. Read it. He's talking about Revelation 12 with the woman with the 12 stars around her head. The 12 stars represent the 12 scattered tribe of Yashahel in 2022. And the woman itself, it is still Yeshahel, but the church as well. And the, when I say the church, I'm meaning those who are not of the Hebrew bloodline. But they love Ahaya. They love Yeshaya. They will be escaping in the second exodus. Very important that you pray to be found worthy. But this thing is coming up. And if you're not found worthy, well, don't take the mark of the beast. That's all I can say to you. Because yeah, you're going to be here for it. You're going to see it. All right. Um, so yes, yeah, so we have a prophetic theme song, brothers and sisters. Um, the song that my good old mommy taught me when I was a little girl called How Near You Are, and the song goes like this How near you are, oh, near you are, oh, near you are, oh, near, oh, near you are, oh, near you are, oh, near you are, oh, near. Hallelujah. Yes, 
We are near, and we can sing that song with red confidence. All right. Remember, I've, I've got two ministries, isn't it? Two ministries. Prophetic end time ministry. We talk about all thought, all, all, all things wicked, like your antichrist, mark of the beast, tsunami, earthquake, and all those things. Second ministry. Talk about the Hebrew Yeshaelites. All right. Scattered to the four corners of the earth. So today we're going to talk about, can I just get some water, brothers and sisters? Because I just finished a video, so my throat feels a bit scratchy. Hold on one second. <coughs> I got some water here. I can't believe it. One of the witches, one of the witches who made a video against this channel, saying that I'm a Satanist, really. <laughs> That's what they say. I'm a Satanist, and I'm not of the Lord. She said, oh, every time Sister Karen cough, she's... Casting spell on people. I don't know what these people are going to say to the most high. Honestly. How can you lie like that? It's a wicked. You need to repent. F fast as well. Alright. Hallelujah. Glory be. Alright. Tastes like rainwater. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe because it's not in the fridge and it's not cold. But anyways. Our brothers and sisters. So two minutes. All right. So I want to revisit this. I want to revisit it because I want to bring the prophecy as the most I show me. Yesterday, I released a prophecy, didn't I? I released a prophecy concerning Babylon, US, and how the most I higher is going to punish the Chaldeans. Yes, you'll be caught in the punishment. But once you have the Lord, you'll be okay. So you don't have to worry. All right. Okay. It's like the three days of darkness, isn't it? Three days of darkness in ancient Hebrew, Yeshua time, when Moses stretched forth his hands, darkness fell upon everybody, both the good, the bad, the ugly, the Israelite, everybody. But we know that the highest people was okay, because the highest people had light in their dwelling. So watch this. <coughs> so I did a video yesterday, and I gave the prophecy, I gave the warning that because of what the Chaldeans, the Ishis people, the Zionist people, um, have done towards Kyrie Irving, because Kyrie Irving represent the Hebrew Yeshaelites, all right? And because of the way how they've treated it, along with um the uh, <laughs> along with um black Moses, yay, a higher is gonna cause judgment to happen. And one of the judgment that I saw is a snowstorm. I had a prophecy on the 20th, isn't it? I had a prophecy on the 20th of November, 2022. And I think I did the video yesterday, the 21st. Or the prophecy came on the 21st and I did the video the same day. <clears throat> now, underneath that video, evil coming towards Babylon, you need to watch it. In the comment section, brothers and sisters were saying, Oh, Sister Carrie and the snow storm already happened. That's what they were saying. They said, Oh, Sister Carrie in Buffalo, New York. They said, And then in Buffalo, New York, oh, they had a really bad snow storm. Really, really bad. They've never seen snow storm like that. And there was a lot of comment that was saying that. And that snow storm happened last weekend. All right, um, which of which probably would have been something maybe like the eight, the fifteenth or the sixteenth of November, something like that. And I had a prophecy that the Lord showed me that a snowstorm is going to hit Babylon, U.S. So when I began to read, I was saying to myself, "This is not the snowstorm that I saw. <laughs> the snow." <laughs> The snow storm that I saw in the spirit is nothing to laugh about. It's, it's nothing to wish upon even the wicked. But I am not a higher. And so I do not cast judgment. Everything is up to the most high. But the snow storm that I see, brothers and sisters, listen, this was of a demonic nature. You could not go outside. Lights were gone. I don't know about the snowstorm um, in Buffalo, New York. If the lights were still on. I don't know. You were still doing your own thing. But, you know, it's a snowy outside. But this one that I saw, you had to stay put. 
like you, you were you couldn't even go out in the snow everything was really 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 bad so that snow i had the prophecy on the 20th of november but they had a snowstorm on the the week the weekend before the 15th or so of um of november they had that weekend i had this last weekend i should say um last weekend let me let me quickly get the date because i like to give it yeah so around about the 18th the 19th the 20th on the 18th the 19th or something like that or the 20th of november but that snowstorm that i saw is nothing to do with buffalo snowstorm because the snowstorm blanketed babylon except for the places that had heat so your i don't know california they don't get snow do they um florida they don't get snow but because of because it's so bad they were affected anyway because everything was crippled so there were no movement for a period of time so this snowstorm that happened in buffalo is not just going to happen just in one city it's it's, it's going to be a, like a blanket that is what i saw so maybe <laughs> that snowstorm that happened in buffalo new york is a little I don't know what you call it, a foreshadowing or a, 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 a waking up to say that something more devast um, devastating is coming to Babylon. And it's only because the Chaldeans didn't take the time out to listen to Ahia's people. They just dismiss the feeling of the people. Of the Most High, of the Hebrew Yeshaelites in the in in Babylon, um, U.S. and Ahia takes that very very seriously, because they are the apple of the Most High's eye. Bible tells you, Yeshahel is the apple of Ahia's eyes, and the the, the the funny thing about it is that the wicked Chaldeans they know that, but they will not come out and tell the truth because they're living in in, in somebody else's shadow, and so. Because of the way how this thing gone off, the way how people have been cancelling right, left, and center, the fear that they've put up on the Hebrew Yeshua community, Ahia is gonna move and Babylon, US will be punished. But I'm only doing this video, not as a rep repeating myself of the video that I did yesterday, but it's a clarification. To say that the, that snowstorm that happened in Buffalo, New York on the 18th or the 17th or whenever it happened, it is not the snowstorm that I saw in the realm of the spirit. Totally different. You cannot go outside. You cannot go to the shop. You cannot drive in it. Everything. You have no lights. The water is frozen. The Lord is merciful, even in, even in his judgment, he is merciful. So, he is going to let the wicked announce that there is going to be a snowstorm. When you hear that, brothers and sisters, please prepare yourself. Please buy your water. Please go and buy up your water, your food, um, bits and pieces and all of that. Because it's not going to be easy. A higher don't play and he don't and he doesn't lie. You might say, Oh, sister Karen, <laughs> a higher cannot be that uh wrathful. It's gonna be cold, isn't it? It's gonna be very, very cold in the winter, and if we don't have any electric and this is cut off and that's cut off and this and that, how are we gonna survive? I don't have all the answers. I really don't have all the answers, but what I can say to you, go back and look at the 10 plagues in Egypt. Go back and look at the 10 plagues in Egypt. Ahaya don't play. He does not play, but when it comes to his children, he said it's better for a millstone to be hung around your neck. So you have to go back and you're going to understand the 10 plagues of Egypt. And one of the plagues were the firstborn 
the, the, the dying or the death of the firstborn in Egypt, isn't it? Bahai says, when I see the blood, I will pass over. And the, the funny thing about it is that, watch this. <coughs> when I see the blood, I will pass over, right? That's what Ahaya says. And that, and I believe that if the Egyptians in them days were smart and understood what was going on and they had the blood over their doorposts, over their doorpost and they had a firstborn child whether it's a big man a little baby it doesn't matter that child would still be alive you know why because a higher declared the word he says when i see the blood he didn't say when i see the blood in yasha hell no 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 when i see the blood which means if even if the wicked egyptian had the blood over the doorpost when that death angel pass over that child would be spared so I am saying to you is, Ahaya says there's going to be a snowstorm never seen before in Babylon, US. Take it very seriously. That's all I can say to you. I don't know how long it's going to last. I did, I did ask the Lord when he showed it to me in my spirit. I did say to the Lord, how long is this thing going to last, Father? Um, I didn't get an answer. So... He just wants me to warn, isn't it? But we do pray for mercy. And I do pray that, you know, if the Sino storm comes and every, not if, when the Sino storm comes, um, that Ahaya in his wrath will have mercy. That it won't be prolonged. Okay. But it's definitely a judgment um, upon Babylon, US. Definitely. So, yes, brothers and sisters, I, w I just wanted to come real and truly and just, you know, clarify that one, isn't it? Clarify that one because, uh, like I say, brothers and sisters, we're saying, Sister Karen, I think the snowstorm of, of common God. And that's not, like I said, that's not what I saw. It was a blanket over Babylon. It wasn't just in one city. It wasn't just in one city, New York. When I see the blood, I will pass over. Remember that. So you have to pray. Because when judgment falls, it, it falls on the good, the bad, the ugly, the pretty, everybody. It really does. It really falls on everybody. But it's where, when it falls, it's where, 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 it, where it finds you. It's a position and the condition of your heart when judgment falls. Where it finds you. See, people don't want to go through judgment, isn't it? This is why they have the pre-tribulation rapture and saying that Yesiah is coming any minute now because they don't want to they don't want to go through no form of judgment. They don't want to see no destruction and it don't work like that. <laughs> I don't know which land these people are living in, but it doesn't work like that. You have to go through persecution. Part when I say persecution, I mean going through a period where judgment is falling but it doesn't mean that you're going to succumb to the judgment because it's a position and the condition remember it said i said when i see the blood i will pass over so as long as your heart is right with Ahaya, when you when these prophecies come out, we prophesy about the Zum Zum, we prophesy, we said, you know, your loved ones, we don't know, some of them will change. You, some of you live with people who have eaten the moonshot and it's like, oh, wow. But Ahaya says, when I see the blood, so in this dispensation, we're not going to go outside and kill a little lamb. I haven't got any lamb anyways. We're not going to kill a goat or a chicken and splash blood all over a door. <laughs> we don't do that anymore because Yesiah, he is a sacrificial lamb. So we use his name. Glory be to the Most High. We use his blood. Glory be to the lamb that was slain before the foundation of the earth. Amen. So it is the position and the condition of your heart where you are with Christ. When judgment falls. You have to come off milk. 
you must come off milk now, brothers. Some of some, some of you, brothers and sisters, I have to begin to eat the the, the, the strong meats, the strong food. Yeah. Sometimes I watch these videos. There's some I like to watch them, I don't know why. There's a couple of videos that I like to watch. I really swear. One of them is a popping, you know, popping of the pimples and stuff like that. I don't know. <laughs> I do love it. Uh, popping pimples. And there's another one with people eating. I know some people find it a little bit like, oh, look at them eating with their hands and stuff like that. But I don't know. I just look at it in a spiritual way, me. And you see these people eating, whether it's Chinese, black, white people, it doesn't matter. Eating their food that they made and i'm eating it with that but when you see the type of meat and i'm saying this is the spiritual this is the meat that we, we really need to heat the hard meat and you see them with the big meat and <laughs> it's funny but anyways brothers and sisters i'm telling you we have to come off milk now yes we have to really come off milk we cannot be babies forever we cannot be babies forever all right all right so top 20 beautiful beloved underneath the video that I did concerning where's it gone is it coming up oh okay concerning um fallen angels curriculum I don't think I'd, fallen angel curriculum that in the time to come the wicked is going to put a curriculum in school specifically designed for fallen angel teaching our children how to adapt and how to love <laughs> to love creation adapt how to love how to show respect to these fallen beings oh father wilderness how far are you honestly i can't wait to get out of here so they're gonna put that in their schools and it's gonna be a curriculum just like how they've put in the A, B, C, D, F, G, H, I, kind of say maybe C, <laughs> you know, community and teaching our children that, you know, it is okay to be that way and what a view and so on and just brainwashing our little ones. It's the same thing with the fallen ones. They're going to try to brainwash our children. But when this begins to happen, one thing you need to say to your child you do not go home with them. They may come home and say, Mommy, can I go over to Timmy's house? Huh. Timmy. Can I go to Timmy's house? Can I go play with Timmy? Who is Timmy? Timmy's a new kid in school. And he looks different. <laughs> Listen. Timmy is of the devil. You don't send your child to go play with Timmy. Timmy will eat your baby. Literally. Because <laughs> the parents are falling. In human form. But the thing about it is that the reason why they're doing the curriculum in school is because when they transform into children, they weren't able to keep that human form for long. So they're going to change into their natural habitat. Not as hideous, you know, because you know with little children, when they see creatures, it's like, oh, creature, and run away. So it's not going to be that hideous, but you definitely know something isn't right. This is deep, isn't it? This is prophecy. When this begins to happen, I know brothers and sisters will be emailing me. Sister Carrie, all my days. Wow. Yeah. I see it. This is what the Lord shows me. And that's why I come in here and I warn you. So when these things begin to happen, you don't go into a panic. Top 20 beautiful beloved. Hallelujah. And I need that powerful video concerning the fallen ones in school, changing the curriculum, teaching our children. All right. Um, hallelujah. Jada. Isn't it Jada? Is it Jada Green? What Jada? I think your name must change. Okay, Jada. Um, <clears throat> Joannette Pallister. Joannette Pallister. Shakira Henry. Sorry, that, sorry about that, brother and sister. Shakira Henry. Charmaine Levermore. Shadrach Bargin. Tyrone J. Rosalyn Swaby. Astro Beats. Bless, um, sorry. Uh, Pauline Anderson. 
Blue Lele uh, Latoya Warren Rita Ken Gan DJ Sorry Rita, I think I pronounced Rita Kan Kan J Detra Jones Jereen Smith Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. Tamika Brooks. Audi Wheeler. Stacy and Small. User PW6CQ. All right. <laughs> Number in there. Um, Fashion Femme. Avish Hudson. Peda Todd, Ida Ho O Yasarelu, Voice of One Crying in the Wilderness, Nicole Wright, uh, Juleth Bailey, Audrine Anderson, Stacy and Small, Shanna Fisher, Ernice Carter. Paulette Allen. Okay, and pay that Todd. Top 20 beautiful beloved. Some of you get second shout out, I think. <laughs> beautiful beloved in the most. High. All right. Um, if you have come to the end of the video, you have not accepted Josiah as the Lord and Savior, please say the sinner's prayer for me. We want you into the kingdom of a higher glory be to the most that all right, Josiah the Christ. I know that you are the son of a higher whom the world calls God. I believe that Josiah have died on the cross for my sins. Yesiah, thank you for dying for me, and I believe in your death, burial, resurrection, and that Ahaya has raised you from the dead. I know with confidence that you are the son of Ahaya, Yesiah, king of glory. I come before you right now, and I'm asking you to wash away all my sins and to forgive me for all that I have done wrong. I repent from my wicked ways, Ahaya. I thank you for your beautiful son, Yesiah, and I pray that you will help me to live a life of repentance and give up the things that's pleasing to you in this world. Thank you for salvation and for saving me if you said that prayer you believe with your heart welcome to the body of christ hallelujah we believe in acts chapter 2 verse 38 you've done the repenting part you now need to find a man of the most higher ask him to fully dunk you in water fully baptize you when you go down in water you're saying that your side died on the cross you believe in the atonement of sin when the man of the most high raised you out of the water you're raised into new life you're raised into the glory and the power of christ's resurrection beautiful stuff so be bold be strong be courageous just walk with a higher and have the mindset of Job, uh, just like Enoch. All oh, praises, all oh, beautiful praises to the most uh, higher who lives above the heavens. Higher, eternally bless you. I love you all, and I will see you soon, someday in glory. In Yesiah's holy name, amen and amen. Let's say the benediction. Benediction is Jude chapter 1. Jude chapter 1, verses 24 to 25. The Bible reads, Not unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise Isaiah, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion, power, both now and ever. Amen and amen. Amen. Blessings.